Well, Paul, we're here. It's the beginning of day two. Mm -hmm. What have we got in terms of finds? Not a lot is the straight answer. Um, this came up this morning. It's about the only thing we've had. It's obviously ceramic. Uh, it's decorated and it's medieval, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Could be a bit of tile. A bit of ridge tile, yeah. But I mean, again, with this decoration on, it's quite unusual. You know. It's... But you do know, looking at the excavation reports that were from the 50s, that they did find some uh, quite highly decorated roof tiles. Yeah, well, did they? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't so get be... I didn't get as far as the roof tile section. <laughs> I was reading it on the way up here. So that's probably why. So I think that's what that is. But I mean, that's that's. Good high medieval 13th, 14th century super posh, you know. It's, it's really long. posh, isn't it? I mean, how many people would have actually had painted, painted colourful roofs? In Not many. I mean, you get glaze, but with slip decoration on it, it's all really, really unusual, isn't it? I mean, but we're really light on finds. I mean, as you know, I mean, I remember you yesterday scra scratching around in the metal detector trace trying to find something <laughs> vaguely interesting, know. you know? What do you think, what kind of stuff do you, are we expecting to find then? I know we've not got much coming up, but what? Well, things like, I mean, We've had one already, but that spectacular Dutch tin glazed tile, I mean, that was really yeah, special. Really That's, cool. That tells you this is a screamingly high status site. Things like posh roof tile. Um, in terms of pottery and stuff like that, I mean, rich people wouldn't have been seen dead eating and drinking out of potteries in a formal sense. They might have had a, a swig out of the jug uh, in, uh, in the sort of kitchen if they were wandering through the house, but for sort of formal dining, it was all glass and metal. They didn't use pottery. So any, any pottery would have been used in the kitchen. Um, uh, areas or you know in the service buildings around it would have been in the main part we're in the main part of the house so I don't think we're gonna find much unless we get a nice juicy cellar or something like that I mean in terms of metal finds I suppose it could be anything really good it? yeah well it, it just depends on casual losses really but like we've already said if people are actually keeping the house clean and then it's dismantled and people are recycling almost anything but from the side chances are of actually finding it here uh, mm. uh, a lot less do you want to see my, my find of the day? Oh, go on, impress me. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> is that from Martin's original excavations <laughs> by any chance? I wondered that, actually. It's off, <laughs> off the spoil. It's, you see it's a little apostle spoon, but it's when you turn it over, unfortunately, it says chromium plate stainless. Well, when we were machining yesterday, we did find some bits of some broken blue china mugs, and Martin reckoned they actually were mugs from his excavations in the 1950s. So we're actually finding more finds from Martin's excavations than we are from the actual uh, palace, which the is... The archaeology of archaeologists. Archaeology.